division filicino fighter or division pterido fighter division filicino fighter or division pterido fighter uh, division pterido fighter is the more advanced plant is more advanced plants compared to the fen related or fen allied divisions like division Ypsilotophyta, division Lycophyta, and the division uh, members of division Sphenophyta. So, division Ypsilotophyta or Phyllocinophyta is a more advanced compared to those members from the previous divisions that I've mentioned. I mean, slow term from division, slow term divisions or whisk things from division. Slotophyta, uh, Selaginella, uh, ground pine from division Helicophyta, and the host tails, host tails plants, and the squaring rushes from division Sphenophyta. As you can see, the diagram here. So, diagrammatically, this is a fan. Uh, this is the fan, special male fan. Uh, are referred to as Dropteris felix mass so from the bottom here up to the top this is a front leaflet structure known as front leaflet structure known as front at the bottom of here there is horizontal stem there is an horizontal stem known as riser associated with adventitious roots associated with these adventitious roots there are crozia fido leaf like structure known as crozia mm, covered by ramenta see so this is the front front with the associated pinna with the associated pinna a subdivision of front is a pinna but also there is a subdivision this pinna undergoes uh, Further subdivision to form what's so called pineal. So a pineal is subdivision of pina, but at the abaxial side, no, at the adaxial side, on the bottom side of pineal, adaxial side of pineal. Let's say this is a pineal at the bottom, or at the bottom, or at adaxial side of pineal. There are cluster. There are cluster of sporangia. There are cluster of sporangia, as you can see, which have been covered, which have been covered by this indesium, covered by this indesium, mm -hmm. which during uh, drying season, during or dry conditions, uh, this shrive, this indesium shrive out, exposing the sporangia, exposing what sporangia. So this porangia, if I take one and I magnify it, it will be like this. So each sporangia, each sporangia has two sections, type of what of cell covering outside. One is this what referred to this with thick walls, annulars, and a thin walls, stomium. There is a thick walls, annulars, and a thin walls, stomium. So during total dryness, there is a catapultion the catapultion of the sporangium which results into releasing this catapultion result into releasing of spores the catapultion of spore of sporangium result into a spore dispersion especially the what spores hmm. inside what the thoras hmm. the thoras which is behind the pineal behind the pineal there is cluster of what sporangia known as soras inside the lizard uh, there are several sporangia and each what is sporangia there is a structure like this one so now let us look at the life cycle let us look at the the life cycle of fain let us look at the life cycle of fain therefore the release the spores the release spores so the release spores from um soras from, 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 from sporangia inside the soras uh, first of all before 
a rupture of the autosporous spores before rupture of the autosporous spores then the spore inside the face of andragomyosis stage to form haploid spores then once these haploid spores form on the surface of damp places or the place the soil with uh, the, 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 the wet soil with, which is what full of water one spores uh, undergo mitosis undergo mitosis and forming out heart shaped like structure known as prothallus heart shaped like structure known as hypothallus which is, is is kind of what gametophyte then did gametophyte develop two sites as usual two sites one is an agonium another is antheridium so antheridiums as usual bears antheridium bears anthrazoids or sperms which have flagella so they swim by uh, attracted by chemicals provided by an egg inside at gonium so this is an act of fertilization it's an act of fertilization so this fusion it will result into formation of a uh, sporophyte generation deployed cells combination of deployed cells which form sporophyte generation then these grow up to form a young a young leaf of autumn of a young sporophyte developing on top of gametophytes developing on top of gametophyte then after further mitotic mitotic division of diploid cells this will result again the formation of what a fan plant with a horizontal stem riser with these fronts pinule uh, pin and the pinules later on the life cycle keep on moving keep on moving so thank you for listening